the common theme I would say when it comes to you know, success stories for my clients is really around that translation of cyber risk into business risks. Oftentimes we have clients come to us and they understand the value of BitSight data. They just struggle to have the resources to take it that step further. And I think where advisor really plays a key role is helping them with saying, okay, you know, we have this three digit rating, we have all this data externally observable that's an objective metric of performance over time. How do I translate that over to my business stakeholders to be able to make decisions with that? To understand, you know, is this a vendor we should do business with? What does that mean to me as the responsible party for this, this organization that we're looking to bring on for you know, X, Y, and Z service? I think you know, being that advocate in the space to say, let me be the expert for you, let me own these conversations, that's where I think we provide the most value and where you know, my clients have seen the most success is you know, reporting that to stakeholders and then that kind of trickles up all the way to the executive level where they're now able to understand themselves you know, what the cyber risk landscape is across their third parties. Yeah, I would add to that to that you know, not every vendor is going to be treated the same or should be treated the same. So you know, BitSight can help identify based on you know, the criticality of their vendors, maybe what's a little bit more important or maybe you know isn't as much as a concern and help to bring that additional context to say you know perhaps for our most critical vendors here's what we want to focus on and for our lower tier vendors or vendors that you know aren't as critical to us you know maybe we don't have to have as much as a thorough process for them because there just isn't as much as a risk there